Hello gorgeous, I am back today and today we're talking about releasing weight. But this is not going to be your average weight loss video because let's be honest, there's a ton of those. I've actually done those before, but we're really going to be talking about the energy of releasing weight. So weight is something that I have battled with at different points in my life and I've also had a host of autoimmune and other issues which I have been able to resolve through taking not only practical actions like diet, dietary and lifestyle changes, but doing a lot of healing work and energy work and really going inwards and finding out why did I manifest this weight or you know body image issues or autoimmune disease in the first place. So personally, I believe that most things that happen in my life are a result of some energetic uh, imbalance due to a lack of inner work in that area. Those are just kind of my core beliefs and this has really served me. So the question that I asked myself when I had put on weight and I wanted to lose it was first just journaling on, you know, what will it take to release this weight? And also another journal prompt was, why did I manifest this weight? Like what in me is not feeling safe so that I need to cover my body up in all these extra layers of protection. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about just like biology and science and then the energy work. So the number one thing that everyone will agree with, scientists will agree with this, all like disciplines of food, whatever, advocates will agree with this and energy work will agree with this. So I always go with, what does everyone agree with? Number one thing that everyone agrees with is that it is harder for women to lose weight or release fat when they're feeling unsafe. So when we are feeling, for whatever reason, unsafe and we are feeling stressed out, we release cortisol, which makes it way harder for our bodies to release weight. So I always begin with asking myself, what in me doesn't feel safe to release this weight? And this is actually scientific because in nature, the reason that we have this biological component to carry our extra food, extra energy on our body is because for most of human history, there was a scarcity of food and we adapted and evolved to be able to wear our extra food or extra calories on our body as a backpack. So when we think certain thoughts or eat certain foods that signals the body, oh, scarcity is coming, there isn't going to be enough food, she's stressed out, let's go ahead and keep these fat reserves because this may be all that we have, right? And then if you change out of that mode and you go into abundance mode, it's like there's plenty of food, I'm fully hydrated, I'm not stressed out because there's plenty of food, and then your body naturally wants to release that fat. So the first thing I want you to understand is that your body wants to release the fat for several reasons. One, it was the only reason it was stored was because it was a safety backup plan. It was a safety mechanism, okay? So you did certain things, uh, ate certain things, thought certain things, moved in certain ways that sent the signal to your body that, hey, hang on to this fat, everything she eats, store it because there's scarcity around and we better not release any of this fat. Then if you were to change that and you send a different signal, the body would want to release that fat. Why would the body want to release it? Because one, it's a safety mechanism. It's just temporarily. Second, when we have toxins in our food or pollution or in the environment, whatever, the fat stores also add as kind of like an extra protection to hold on to those toxins so they don't get released and uh, into the organs. So when it's safe to release the fat, it wants to release it so that it can finally flush that out when there is an abundance of, of uh, water and you're feeling safe and you're eating the right foods that are sending the right signals, it wants to release that. It doesn't wanna hold on to that forever. It's just trying to protect you. So number two thing I wanna talk about is that we have always been cyclical beings and eaten in cycles. So certain cycles, we would eat certain foods that would signal the body that winter is coming and there's going to be a scarcity of food in winter. And so hold on to fat, 
okay? Save this fat, there's scarcity coming. Well, the way that we currently eat, most of us in the Western world, sends the signal that winter is always coming. Keep that fat on your body. This is why when people learn about the keto diet or low carb diet or intermittent fasting, they can learn to start shedding that weight, okay? Because now you can send your body a different signal. Now you may be thinking, but Mina, I've tried the keto diet and low carb and it's not worked for me. Here's the other, here's number three point that I want you to know. Every single diet will work as long as you are aligned with releasing this fat. The energy part is really, really, really important. Do not discount it. You could be doing every single diet correctly, but not feeling safe and not having actually addressed why you're holding on to all of this extra fat in the first place, not just from a biological simple, like you're eating stuff that's sending the wrong signal kind of thing, but energetically, because the first point I made that for women to release fat, we need to feel safe. So you need to get in your journal and literally, I know this may sound ridiculous to some of you guys, but literally have a conversation with your fat and let it know that you are safe. Have a conversation with every cell in your body. Have a conversation with your heart, with your brain, with your gut microbiome and let it know that you are now safe and that it is okay to release this fat. If things come up, use my six step process in the Basic Babe Bundle to work through those limiting beliefs. What are your belief systems around what will happen when you lose the weight, right? Will you get too much attraction? Will you be seen finally in a way that scares you? Work through that stuff because that's the stuff that's blocking you, okay? I had gotten into that mindset over the pandemic. Um, so, you know, I was in the best shape of my life after having three kids and being in my 30s. And then the pandemic happened and you guys saw I gained like seven, eight pounds. And so... When I woke up in 2021, I'm like, okay, we're not doing this anymore. Like what, what's going on with the seven or eight extra pounds? When I went into my journal and started having these conversations, right? Yeah, the pandemic is making all of us uncertain. We're going, uh, you know, going into cooking together and eating more and, you know, feeling safe with food. My body is feeling this tension that, you know, it's in the collective obviously because of the pandemic and it doesn't want to release the fat. But the minute that I started having that conversation of like, okay, we're safe, it's okay, there is an abundance of food, I'm surrounded by loved ones, it's okay to start releasing the fat, it went down immediately, right? It, it started just releasing it. In fact, recently, uh, I was telling my husband, I'm like, okay, I'm dropping like a pound a week and it's like not stopping. And so he was like, you know, you always seem to get to that happy place you're like naturally and then it stops remember i'm like yes i do remember so when you give the right signals to your body that you are safe that there's no energetic reason there's no inner work reason for you to be you know keeping this fat it wants to release it okay so there are different mechanisms that you can start putting into place in the alchemy and ascension uh intensive that i just did earlier this year i did in one of the modules, Eating the Homo Sapien Way, I talked about eating this way and I also um, listed under the video my how I eat in seasons and how I eat so that my body feels safe to release fat and um, you know and then when I'm going on vacation and things like that, I can go and go ahead and eat in a way that's best for that vacation and then um, not store a whole bunch of extra fat, right? And then come home and release the water weight, whatever. So once you understand there is an energetic component, trust me, it start, it becomes a lot easier. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, okay, Mina, just tell me what to eat. Like you didn't tell. The reason that I'm not telling you what diet you should do, honestly, is because any diet will work. If you really do the inner work and you figure out why you need your body feels like it needs to be protected with this extra layer of fat, any diet will work. There are millions of people on YouTube saying the vegan diet works, no the keto diet works, no the carnivore diet works, no this diet works. They all work. They all work when you don't have an energetic reason for holding on to the fat and none of it works. None of it works. If you don't feel safe, if your subconscious has decided, mm -mm, there's scarcity out there, I am not safe, 
no matter what she does, do not release the fat. In fact, the harder she tries, it seems like the more scarcity there is, do not release the fat and therefore you will not. And with that fat, you are keeping in all the toxins and all that stuff, right? So I like to cycle through my fat, right? So now I've you know, released that extra seven or eight pounds. We're going on vacation soon. I'm gonna be eating. I'm not gonna be worried about putting on more fat because it's okay to have more fat come in as long as you release that at some point. You release that, you come back home, you go back to you know eating how you eat and then you release it. It's so easy to release weight because your body actually wants to do it granted that you allow it to feel safe. And that's why I highly recommend doing inner work around this, okay? So I hope this was helpful. If you guys would like my free container workbook, I have a free workbook that I send out. I also send out newsletters and emails and things like that. You can sign up for that in the description box. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.